there are various coastal landforms that have been created by erosion. We need to understand what they are and how they have been formed. Landforms are created through erosion, transportation and deposition, and this is most keenly found at the coast. Headlands and bays are two such landforms and are created through the erosion of neighbouring rock at different rates. Weaker rock will erode more quickly than hard rock, so the weaker rock becomes a bay where deposition can occur and beaches will develop, whereas the stronger rock will develop into a headland. The headland will slowly erode and as it does it creates some fascinating landforms. Waves will attack lines of weakness in the rock, and these will open up to create caves. Eventually, the cave deepens and cuts through the headland to create an arch. The arch will continue to erode at its base, whilst the top will be attacked by weathering. Eventually, that arch will be too heavy to be supported and will collapse. This will leave an isolated pillar of rock, standing apart from the main headland, and this is called a stack. Erosion continues at the stack, which will eventually collapse to leave behind a stump. When waves break against the cliffs at high tide, they start to attack the bottom of the cliff, creating a wave-cut notch. This notch gets deeper through more erosion to the point where the cliff can't support the rocks above, and it collapses. The cliff will slowly retreat through repeated notch development and collapse, and this will leave behind gently sloping land called a wave-cut platform. We can see that there are various features that are created through erosion at the coast, and being aware of these will help our understanding of how the coast develops. Music